Assalamualaikum and a very good day I bet to everyone. My name is Nur Shafika Bendi Idris and here is my final year project proposal. The title for my FYP is The Determination of the Presence of Antibiotics Resistant Bacteria and the Level of Antibiotic Residue in the Water Sample at Catfish Breeding Pond of Kesan River Melaka. My supervisor is Dr. Siti Shahara and my co-supervisor is Dr. Sham Osman and also Cik Nofa Iza. Here is my contents from introduction up until references and let's move on to introduction first. What is antibiotic resistance bacteria? So basically antibiotic resistance is defined as the changing that occur in the bacteria in ways that it could eliminate or reduce the effectiveness of antibiotics. And antibiotic resistance is also a consequence of misuse and overuse of any antimicrobial agent. Basically, antibiotics are unavoidably released in the environment and become a residue and usually it will contribute to negative effects to the ecosystem. And long-term exposure to antibiotic residue from the environment actually attributed to development of antibiotic resistance. Hence, it could affect aquatic organisms that live in it and the quality of the water itself. My research will take all sample in Kesan River, Melaka. Basically, this Kesan River is located at Jasin, Melaka in the west coast of Peninsula Malaysia and it also supplies 54 milliliters of raw water to the state of Melaka on a daily basis. There is also a semi-commercial catfish pond near to the Kesan River. And here is the map of it. You can see here is the Sungai Kesang, or we call it Kesang River. And if we zoom in it, we can see that the Kesang River is located at the borderline between Melaka and also Johor. Next is the species of catfish that being reared in the catfish breeding pond, which is African catfish. It is one of the most infamous exotic fish species in Malaysia and its scientific name is Clarias dirabinus. And here is the image of African catfish. We proceed with literature review. Fundamentally, antibiotics is used as growth promoter and act as therapeutic or prophylactic agents in aquaculture. In veterinary antibiotics, they are physiologically grouped as a highly active substances and it being used in a large scale to prevent and treat any bacteria borne diseases. And how long can these antibiotics persist in the environment? Radically, antibiotics are often non-biodegradable and persist in a long time in the environment. However, misuse of it, is, of it, it is somehow becoming more common nowadays, hence contributing to the fast-paced development of progressive antibiotic resistance about the catfish hearing industry and studied them by Ola Toye in 2013 stated that 65% of the farmer claimed that they administer drugs routinely to prevent disease outbreak or any mortality losses without engaging the services of veterinarians for disease diagnosis and treatment. Therefore, the abundance of antibiotic residues in the environment has led to evolution of dangerous antibiotic resistant bacteria. And how about Malaysia? In Malaysia, the use of antibiotic in aquaculture was not well regulated and enforcement of the regulation was weak, especially in small farm. A previous study in north of Malaysia, which is Penang, found out that the catfish that being reared there was resistant to clindamycin, to the cyclin, rifampicin, and also penicillin. Meanwhile, another study in east uh, of Malaysia, which is Kelantan, found out that the bacteria isolated from the catfish in there were resistant to its penicillin, clindamycin, also tetracycline. And how about South of Malaysia? So here is my research justification. Firstly, there is no information available on the antibiotic resistant and antibiotic residue at the west east peninsula of Malaysia, and that is why I do my research at Kesang River. Second, Kesang River is one of the most important rivers that supplies raw water to Melaka residents. Therefore, the levels of contamination in that river needed to be examined to prevent shortage of water in future. And last one, the, uh, the antibiotic resistant antibiotic acid value that will be obtained in this study will assist and provide a baseline data for future fisheries management in Malaysia, hopefully. 
Here is my research question. First, is there any significant contamination of antibiotic resistant bacteria and antibiotic residues in the water sample at catfish breeding pond of Kesang River? Second, what is the comparison between the level of antibiotic resistant bacteria contamination and antibiotic residue in water sample in between all sampling points? Next is my research hypothesis. First, there is a contamination of antibiotic resistant bacteria and antibiotic residue in water samples at catfish breeding pond of Kesan River Melaka. Second, there is a differences in the level of antibiotic resistant bacteria and antibiotic residue in between all sampling points. Next, my research objective. My general objective is to determine the presence of antibiotic resistant bacteria and antibiotic residue in water sample at catfish breeding pond of Kesan River Melaka. Uh, meanwhile, I got uh, four different specific objectives, which are first to determine the level of bacterial contamination in the water sample collected from the catfish breeding pond of Kesan River Melaka. Second, to determine the presence of a resistant anti antibiotic Resist, uh, uh, presence of antibiotic resistant bacteria in the water sample collected. Third, to determine the level of antibiotic residue in the water sample collected. And the last one is to compare the total count of antibiotic resistant bacteria contamination and the total antibiotic residues in water samples in between different sampling points. Here is my research flow chart. After sampling, the sample were divided into two further examination. The first one is for bacterial contamination by using membrane filtration method and also Kirby body's diffusion method for antibiotic susceptibility test. And the second one is for the level of antibiotic residue we examined by using high performance liquid chromatography or we call it as HPLC. Uh, move forward to methodology of my research. Basically, my research got six different sampling points. The first one is uh, at the upstream of the Kesang River. Uh, the second one is the early stage of catfish rearing. The third sampling point is at the middle stage of catfish rearing. The fourth one is at the final stage of catfish rearing. The fifth one is at the effluent of the catfish rearing. And the last one is at the downstream of the Kesang River itself. Here are the selected antibiotics for my research studies, which are ampicillin, ciproflexin, erythromycin, oxytetracycline, sulfamethosazole, and trimetropine. And these antibiotics is also listed in Department of Fisheries, DOF, as antibiotics that are being selected under the surveillance for fisheries industry. Next is the methodology for bacteria contamination. I tag each point with A, B, C, D, and E, as you can see here. So, for bacterial contamination, A, I use membrane filtration method. The sample will be filtered and the membrane is then will be transferred to culture medium and incubated at 25 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. Then, the colony will be enumerated and I will grouping it according to morphology of the colony. For instance, by looking at their form, elevation and margin and all identified colony will be given a specific id respectively next for c is subculture the selected colony into nutrient both for uh, for four hours at 37 degrees celsius and after four hours the inoculate is straight on a muller heat template and proceed with antibiotic susceptibility test by calculating the size of inhibition zone and by using reference tables, uh, the size of inhibition zone can distinguish between uh, whether the sample is susceptible as intermediately susceptible I or resistant R to the selected antibiotic. Last one is methodology uh, for antibiotic residue level by using HPLC. After the sample being collected, the sample is prepared and undergo pre-treatment instruction and clean up by removing the interferences, extract it and also concentrate the targeted in lights by using SPE. Uh, in SPE or solid phase extraction, the analyte will go through conditioning, loading, washing and illusion and then being stored in amber wires before being injected in the HPLC. Here is the image of uh, SPE 
or solid face extraction and also the image of HPLC itself. For my research, the reverse phase C18 type of column is selected. The samples in the HPLC will then undergo separation system and will be detected by the uh, detector here. And then it can send uh, electrical signal for each significant changes that happen in the column and send it to the computer and recorder. And here in the recorder, it will present the chromatogram, retention time, peak height and also the area value for each sample tested. This is uh, my statistical analysis. Uh, for my specific, for my first, second, and third specific objective, I will use descriptive analysis. And meanwhile, for my last specific objective, I will use ANOVA. Next, I present to you my research grant chart. We can see here my schedule uh, from uh, proposal pre preparation up until TC submission and also whitewashation. Here is acknowledgement. Uh, I would like to give my deepest gratitude to Dr. Siti Shara Research Grant for giving me uh, financial support in order to make my research a successful one. Here is my references. With that, thank you.